Okay, so for this video, I'm just going to work with the compare to method in Java. Um, so we'll start with looking at two strings. So we have Harry and Henry, right? Now, uh, the way it works is if string one compared to string two is less than zero, then string one comes first, okay? And this will output the number you get, and it will make sense after I kind of run through it, but let's just see what we get at the beginning. Um, minus four is the number when you compare these two and string one comes first okay that makes sense because the h's are the same but um a is higher than e in the alphabet so that's actually where this number comes from negative four is because um e is four letters away from a so a b c d e right now if this first letter were to be um maybe J, I don't know, we can do Jack, right? Then uh, it compares the first letter and says, okay, J is two letters away from H. So H, I, J, right? And the string one comes first once again. So let's just change this and uh, I don't know, how about Adam? Okay, so seven. So the difference here is seven, and um, string two does in fact come first. Now if I were to switch these, do Adam and Henry, then notice it's a negative seven because we were doing a string one and comparing it to string two. So that's why it's a negative in this case. Um, and of course, if they're the, the same name, then they're they're equal they're identical is really what i should say the strings are identical uh one interesting thing to note too is that the the um, case of the letter matters so if i did henry to henry then string one would come first because it ranks the capital letters as higher so that's just something kind of important to keep in mind when you're using this compare to method and that's basically how it works with uh, letters in, in these strings. Now, I'm going to comment this out and then take a look at uh, if we did this for numbers stored in strings. So let's see, I've got 40 and 50 here, and we're just going to print out num1 compared to num2. OK, so why is it minus 1? Because uh, 40 is less than 50, right? So if these, it's not, it's not, uh, one thing you need to be careful is it doesn't, it's not really thinking about these later numbers. So I could do 4,000 and it's still negative one. And why is that? It's because it's only looking at these first numbers, okay? So four is less than five. And so num one is less than num two, according to this compare to method. If I change this to 5,000, then this becomes two, okay? So in this case, num1 is greater than num2. Uh, if I just had them equal each other, then zero. There's no difference. Okay, what if I made this one 5,000 or even 50,000? Then it becomes negative three, okay? Because they're the same but you've got minus three differences. How, what if I made this five, 50,500, what does that look like? Yeah, minus three still. So I guess it's just looking at the digits, the difference of the digits. Um, if I did like that, then it's minus five difference. Yeah, I really don't know. <laughs> Let's try one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, four. Okay, so now this kind of makes more sense. One, uh, there's one digit difference here. Um, if these were equal, it should be zero, right? And how about this? I'm thinking negative one. Okay, that makes sense. And then what if this was two? If this were two, negative two, 
Okay, that's pretty straightforward. So it's just a matter of comparing the numbers. Um, one be negative three. Okay, so yeah, just keep in mind that the order matters when you're comparing these two things. And let's try a basic one. Uh, 100 and 110, what would that look like? Minus one, okay, 120 to 110, one. And let's do 145, three. Okay, so that's just looking at these two numbers and saying four is three more than one. Okay, so yep, that's how you compare, use the compare to method to compare these types of strings.